morning guys happy bank holiday uh, it's sunday morning i was in bed for half eight last night because i was up early on saturday sending my oldest child off to thailand for three weeks so checking he had his passport and everything at four in the morning so as a result i'm the only one up in the house so i thought i'd do just an abdominal floor um program I uh, just I've got a little bit of extensive tendonitis in my foot so I'm trying to keep away a little bit from runny stuff. For those who can't do, who are not doing Monday classes due to bank holiday, um, I'm going to do hopefully a Pilates video for you as well. But at the minute I'm going to get onto an abdominal one and I'm going to make it quite tough. So all your principles still need apply. So obviously navel to spine um, and yeah just make sure that your rib cage is close when we're doing a lot of the work to protect the lower back. Stop at any point, give yourself a nice hug of knees into chest or a child's pose, just stop the video. But it's going to be quite an intense one, probably 20 minutes or so. For those of you I don't see, I've an amazing bank holiday. Apologise for the clash of clothes, but everyone's uh, asleep, so I got ma married. I got ready in the dark. Okay, so we're going to start with our I'm hoping this is a decent picture. So we're going to start, I'm going to take my, play, my clothes off, I'm going to take my trainers off, maybe it is a bit early. And we're going to start in neutral spine. So neutral spine, pubic bone, belly button, and level. So you never want the belly button higher than the pubic bone, because you get this feeling. So you always want the ribs in and down and close. And we're going to start off relatively easy, just to warm up everything. So what we're going to do is 20, crunches. So we're going to draw the navel in, so imagine something hot on the belly button, chin towards the chest, and as you come up into chest lift, you start in neutral and you stay in neutral. The ribs keep down, you don't rock in and out of imprint release, So and then don't bring it all the way down. Sometimes if people bring it all the way down, they start to push their ribs out. So ribs keep in and down, and we just lift for three, for four, for five, elbows nice and wide, six, Seven, eight, chin towards the chest, nine, ten, for ten, for nine, what a gorgeous week we've had, haven't we? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We've got two more, more of those if that felt like it was intense enough for you. Or you can join me into level two. So push the ribcage down, navel to spine, nice neutral spine, chin to chest, lift to about there and come back to there, not to the floor. So we lift, lower, lift, lower. You can take your feet, so you've got a diamond in them, so you rotate at the hip into frog lift. Lift quite high if you can, look through the diamond. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight. So it's like a crunch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, gently down. Another little, we'll make sure we do a lot of back stretches at the end guys and a little bit of stretch for the abdominals. Level three, back into tabletop, but take one leg out. Make sure you're not arching, you're not coming too low and the ribs start to come away. So about that position, you can raise it to make it easier, lower it to make it harder. And again, make sure the chin is towards the chest. For two, for three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, little hug into chest. 60 down. Next one, we're going to take it a little bit more into the obliques. So, we're just going to take the knees in one direction. We're going to interlink the fingers, elbows out wide. 
and you're going to try and lift really high and look over the top hip bone. So you're lifting off the scapula completely and then just coming out down a little bit. So you're just coming down a little bit. This scapula, the elbow nearest to the screen, is still off the mat. Exhale up. Keep drawing that belly and keep chin to chest. For nine, for ten. Ten more. Ten, working the internal obliques and the transverse abdominis muscles that wrap around like a corset. Deep muscles. It's not just about working the outer rectus abdominis ones. You want to get strong from within. Four, three, two, and one. Back to centre. If you're not feeling these, you're not lifting high enough. Again, draw the tummy in, ribs are down, lift up, lower a bit, lift. If the neck doesn't bother you, can reach, 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 reach. reach. Chin to chest, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Notice if one side was stronger, when I was the right side were engaged more, that felt easier for me. Good, well done. Now we're going to take our legs up nice and high. Look at my Nora Batties. Oh, to have long legs. So, in this position, you can do two different ones. So you want to push the ribs down, draw the tummy in. This one you can do an imprint where the lower back's on the mat. So keep the core engaged. You can keep chin to chest. I'll show you this one first. We've got three lots of 20. So we lift. Lower. You don't come all the way down. Chin to chest. Lower. Three. Four. Four. Three. Two. One, twelve more. Keep pulling that navel in. Twelve. One. Well done. Level one. Well, not level one. It's just if you've got neck. Any neck pain, that's a lot better to do than the next one. If the neck doesn't bother you, then you can take it to this one and you try and reach. So draw the tummy and push the ribs down, lift. Touch the lower shin, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, really well it's just more about keeping your neck protected if it doesn't bother you can go back to two or you can go one two reach to the back of the legs one two one two one two one two notice my neck head's not coming down my chin's keeping to chest which is why if you don't like the feeling on the neck you can keep the hands underneath. Halfway, ten. Nine. Eight. Back in, a little roll around, and notice how 
six pack muscles, the rectus abdominis muscles, which to be fair are the superficial ones. We're going to get into now the lower ones, again level two, level three, and level one. Level one scissor, hands underneath the head, chin to chest, keep the head and shoulders down, push the rib cage down, push the navel into the spine. And nice and slow for eight. down, keep navel in, six, five, four, three, two, and one, well done, take a little hug, up, you can continue with that one, on level two, lift up high, draw the tummy in, elbows out wide, lower the legs a little bit, and push, keep the ribs down, or go back to head and shoulders down, and still work hard. Three. I think I've got out of the habit of working my abdominals as hard as I should. You can flex or point your feet. Four, two, and one. Well done, middle hug in. Go back to either of those levels for the last one. Head down or lift. Or if this doesn't bother you, some people it does. Some people like to put their hands underneath their lower back like this to make sure that the back keeps connected. Chin to chest. I like to support my head really, but I'll try it with this one. Draw the tummy in, push the ribs down, and only do this if you feel confident that you can keep the ribs down and the belly from popping. You don't want the belly to dome, and that's where people go wrong in this one. They'll come too low, and that starts to happen. The belly starts to pop. Yeah, I'm going to do this one, guys. Keep the ribs down. So we're not doing that where we're arching at the back. Ribs are down. Ten more. You know, always sit and exercise out and just do some supine spine stretches where you take knees to the side just to relax or hug the knees into chest. Three, two, and one. Okay, bring it. There's so many abdominals. This is crazy. Okay. Next one we're going to do single leg stretch Pilates. We're going to do level one, level two. So draw the tummy in, push the ribs down, and we're just taking one, nice and slow, with control. Imagine you've got a million pounds bet on it, and you've got a tiny gap underneath your lumbar spine, and you are not moving in and out of imprint release. That little gap's there, the ribs are down. Chin to chest. Remember, you can always support your neck with a little cushion, a little towel.
water, a little hook. That's level one. Just keep another little kind of hip flexor. Whoa. Level two, again, single leg, aim to imprint. Lift up, make sure you've got that little gap under the lumbar spine. And we're just going to keep head and shoulders up. We're going to 20. I'll take the head and shoulders down, chin to chest. My abdominals don't hurt tomorrow, I'll be very upset. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Again, hug into chest. Level three is the original single leg stretch. You have to work really hard in this one, guys, to get the coordination as well. So lift up into chest lift first, then bring the right leg, then bring the left leg. Take one leg straight, leg that's bent, take the same hand to the outside. The other one goes to the inner knee, yeah? Lift up quite high, draw the tummy in, and just switch, so just move hands. Twenty again. Have a hook. And then take it more into crunches. We've got some plank tight ones and forearms. Well, you don't just want to do flexion work. You want to strengthen the back as well. The next one, go easy because we're taking arms overhead. So again, go back to any of the ones that I've done if you don't feel confident with this one. So if you take your arms overhead, often the ribs can come up and out and the back comes away. So you need to be very careful that you are sending the ribs and the lower back down before you raise the legs. So as we come up, we're going to bend the knees. So watch first. In, back down. Lower ribs, quite controlled. Lower ribs, chin to chest. Three. Lower ribs. Four. Lower ribs. Come up to a quick heel, keep an arched back. A little bit like double leg in Pilates. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
chest lift. Remember, if you work your abdominals correctly, the back muscles will feel how they're working. People get a bit distressed by that sometimes. It's your muscles, your TA muscles that wrap around like a corset. Last two. Well done. So take a stretch. Back to something quite intrigued as to how long this video will be. <laughs> I'm trying to make up all the abdominal ones in a well not all of them but we're not rolling like a ball. And then just come over onto one side to lift up. And we're gonna take it into a half roll back. Yeah, then lift. We're just gonna one, two. stretch the back whenever you're doing abdominal work. It will allow you to do more. And then a little, just for the hips, a little bit of butterfly. Beautiful. Well done. We're going to come back onto our side and we're going to go into a little bit more work through endurance. So roll back into a half roll back. Take it into a half boat pose. Hold. Well done. Reach forward. today isn't it three two and one oh you need a good stretch lean up i'm just going to turn my back to you guys so you can see better i'm going to take my right foot over my left knee and then my left elbow i'm going to take to the outside of that right knee and just turn and look over my shoulder stretch around the mid thoracic breaststroke area and then again yeah left foot over the right knee right hand to the outside knee look over that shoulder back to center okay let's go into some core work on our front 
Okay, so let's go into a plank. Remember, that's not a plank. That's not a plank, although that will feel nice on the abs. You want a nice straight position. Spread the toes. We're going to take the right foot out. And we're going to just lift the leg for 10. Eight, not too high, seven, six, five, don't let the breastbone drop, four, three, two, one, the other side, lift, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Level one and level two of side plank. So I'm going to take, I'll show it so I'm facing away from you guys. I'm going to take my left knee down and I'm just going to lift up and push my bottom waist up. I always like to show you this one first for people that struggle with side plank. Don't let the ear drop towards the shoulder. And then in two, thread the needle for one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back, left, uh, opposite one, sorry. Just lift up, make sure, whoop, let you see I'm lifting forward then. Leg, hold. I'm gonna take this to level. Two and level three, please do not feel like you have to go any further than this. One, two, we've already worked our obliques quite hard. Three, so you might be a bit tired. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember you're back, not back like that. Back into it, level two. So you either go back to that one, the knee down, or you do it with me. So lift up out of the breastbone, swivel on the top leg, goes slightly in front, that foot. Don't push the bum out, you push the hips forward. Lift up out of the breastbone, hold. In for 10, or just hold, two. These are advanced moves, so be careful. Always go back to the level you feel comfortable with. An injury is not worth it if you're not ready strength-wise. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to centre. Oh, and feel those obliques. The other way. I'm a bit strong on this side, I think. Hold up. Big gap between ear and shoulder, hold. You can look to the floor, whatever feels comfortable on your neck, guys. That's the important bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done, back up, give yourself a good old stretch into downward dog, heels towards the floor. Bring the hands back a little bit and take your left leg up to the ceiling. Take your right heel to the floor, feel the stretch. Bring that heel back up and bring the knee in, hold into endurance, hold. Lift up out of the breastbone, neck nice and long. Pendulum in for 10, for nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Back into plank. Hold. Take it up. Take the right leg up. Left heel down. Hold. Feel the stretch. Lift up. Bring it in. Nice plank position. Hold. Lift up out of the breastbone. Push into the mat. 
Not easy on the shoulders, guys. Can you do on ten? Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Take the knees down. Have a little shell stretch. We've only got about five minutes left, so try and hang with it. Remember, you can always go back to an easy level or turn the video off if you've had enough. 25 minutes of abdominals is not easy. Beautiful. Let's come back. Try and persevere with wrist, guys. We need to increase bone density in the wrist. Back into plank. One, under, back. Two, three. I need these guys, I literally, it's not like me, I'm like a lady that lunched this week, it's just how it's happened, I was out with my mum, I was out with my lovely breast cancer ladies, I was out for my son's birthday, then my husband felt left out so I was out for him, and then my best friend came around and made me pastries yesterday for my birthday, next week because she's not here, so trying to get the balance reversed. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, shoulders burning, two, one, whoa, back. Just bring your hands back towards your feet, give them a little pump, pump in action. Count cats. And last but not least, guys, we are going to do some endurance in forearm plank. I'll take it into forearm side. You don't have to do it. So just see what you can do, guys. So take the forearms into the mat. Your nose is kind of in line with your thumbs. Draw the tummy in. You can always just do this if you're not used to it. Although if you're doing this video, you probably are used to it. Hold. 30 seconds. That is 30. You can keep like this or go into shell stretch if you've had enough. Or you can turn and go into a side forearm plank. Sorry, I'm just not right. So push the hips forward. Lift this big gap between ear and shoulder. That's 30. Back into forearm. So you'll be doing a two minute forearm if you're not switching or you'll be just resting. Heels to floor. Draw that to the end. Five more. Five. That's one and a half minutes, all oh, into that side plank. I find side plank easier actually. Lift the waist. Got 15 seconds left guys and then we're done. Let's come on to our backs. Just take a stretch so one hand goes up, the other comes underneath, pulls it along. Other side. Oh, 
Press one knee over, take the top foot to the floor, take the head the other way, really lay into your bent this stretch guys, inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, release. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, release. And Last one. Gently back to centre. It was supposed to be 20 minutes, but I think it might be more like half an hour. And again, inhale, let the belly rise. Our breath release. In. Two more. Last one. Back to centre. Give yourself a good hug into chest. We've worked the abdominals hard today and the lower back. If you've managed the whole video, absolutely brilliant. If you haven't, still brilliant. Just work up to it. And then we're just going to come over onto our front. We're just going to go into, if we can, Three quarter knee position, take the elbows back, chest and chin to ground and reach up, stretching the abdominal muscles. You can take the toes if you want and go into this position or that position. Knees down, take a stretch. Walk we'll both arms round to one side, take the top hand over the bottom to get into the lower back muscles. The other side. Back to centre, into four point kneeling, do some little side to side, look over one shoulder as you take the hips in the other direction. Oh, I can feel that. And then one direction, round, the other direction and dip. And again, one direction, round, try and give yourself as much mobility in the back as you can. Please feel free to stay down and do some more stretches if you want. Otherwise, tuck the toes, gently come back with me, reach up into your, and then take one hand above, grab the wrist of the other hand, just over. Really stretch out through the lateral side. Remember, we've got lots of muscles going down the side of our body. The lats, the multifidus, the QL muscles, the internal obliques. They need stretching like the rest of the body. If my best friend is ever watching this video, she probably won't be. Oh, sorry, you won't see me do that stretch properly, will you? So it's that one. Um, then I'm going to say something weird like, I really loved that. She thinks I'm weird for loving abdominals. But anyway, take care guys, have a fabulous weekend.